Hi guys, it's Dave and Kane here from Black Anchor Outdoors. All right, guys, we're here today to uh, review an axe. Uh, we haven't done an axe review yet. I don't, I don't think. think we have. No. This is the Grand Falls Brook Small Forest Axe. All right, we'll be back. See you soon. Okay guys, so we've got the Grand Falls Brook Small Forest. So um, this is a new one that I just bought. And it's one I've been, I've had on the list for, for a long, long time. They are kind of an expensive axe, but you kind of pay for what you get. I do have uh, a few other axes as well. And a you lot can, of other axes he has. <laughs> <laughs> but um, <clears throat> you can just tell as soon as you get up to this quality, why it's that, that much extra. Um, so Kane hasn't had a go of it yet. No. Um, I've only used it a couple of times because I wanted to do the review as well. So I've had, it's had a little bit of use, but one thing I did do... Now, I'm a Kydex sheath builder. Um, but I'm doing a bit of leather work as well at the moment. So, <clears throat> this sheath comes... Oh, basically like that kind of colour. I don't know if you can see that leaf. Nearly the colour of the handle, the sheath comes. <clears throat> and I wasn't so happy with that. And I wanted to build a collar as well. And I, I didn't want to build the collar in that colour. So I've re... So that's why I did it look a bit different. So people that do know. Recoloured this. Refinished it. Uh, so it's waterproof coating now. And when they do come from the factory... The sheaths, sheaths come pretty crappy actually. The edges aren't finished and that kind of thing. But apart from that, the, the sheath is perfect. It's like um, the way it fits and that yeah, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, it's really perfect. It's tight, so, isn't it? It doesn't rattle around once yeah, you put that strap around. It's perfect. It's just, they just don't finish the edges on it. Over to the axe though, it's perfect. Everything is finished perfectly. Um, <clears throat> I was in two minds whether to put a collar on. Basically because... Now, you can see this kind of to our size. Yeah. It's not a huge axe. And that's what I wanted. I, I do have felling axes. I have uh, longer pack axes. I've got hatchets. I've got all that kind of stuff. But this is the one I wanted for a main carry for, you know, when we're doing overnighters and yeah. that kind of thing. To be honest, if I can use a saw, I will. Because it's just less, less effort than an axe would be. But... There's certain things that an axe is just going to be better at doing. Yeah. But yeah, so I was in two minds to put this collar on, but I thought I'll, I'll make the collar for it anyway. And if I don't like it, I'll just take it off. But it actually, it makes that, it's like a grip on a knife. Yeah, it's, 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 um, it makes choking up on that really, really, really good. Yeah, out. yeah, it's, 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 um, <clears throat> it's a definite, definite different looking axe to, to most of the ones you see around the same sort of size, you know, Yeah. but it, it feels awesome in your hand, doesn't it? And it's, Everything's smaller. Yeah. Um, Normally when we talk about knives and things, you go the smaller handles with our big hands, they don't seem to fit and they're uncomfortable. This is, seems smaller than nearly any axe handle yeah, I've yeah. held, but fits better. Yeah, yeah. It, it feels so nice, doesn't it? It's, it's a really, really nice, um, nice axe. It looks awesome. It looks like we've just pulled something out of the Viking Age, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That Swedish, it, it's all... <clears throat> hand forged and it's left like that it looks like a, a custom built axe or yeah, one yeah. You've, you've made it well known. it is really it is. although they are mass produced well not mass produced but you know they're not they are readily available yeah but each one is is handmade is hand forged you've yep. got um so you've got stamp in here which i'll bring up to this camera and you'll see a bit better and then also this side so you have the the little grand Sauls brooks uh, logo. logo there and then you have two letters here MB now <clears throat> I'll put a I'll put a photo in of it comes with a book um, so I'll put a little uh, video of me going through that I didn't bring it with me okay. um, but what that is that's the maker so that's the actual guy so when you look through your book 
you can actually pick out who the, guys who the guy it. is that made this actual axe. Um, there is videos up of certain makers and stuff like that. Not a, not a whole lot and they're hard to find, but, but yeah, full ham and hammered head. And I think that handle size is due to, now they've changed over the last couple of years their, their handles. They haven't changed the size or anything like that, but they've just, they're just picking better wood and they're, they're knocking back a lot more wood. Um, and you can like, as we're saying about this handle size, it still feels sturdy as, yeah. and you can see by this structure, the grain structure, it's not going to, it's not going to break. But it's down to them really, really choosing that wood that they can have it this nice and contoured. It's um, yeah, it, it's not a heavy axe at all, is it? It's it's really nice. Definitely one that I wouldn't have a drummer's carrying, that I know would do the job for me out in the bush. But it's not going to be that heavy that you go, oh, I don't really want to carry that on the pack. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's right. It's pretty good. You could even, as you said, you, your little, your belt loop. You could even yeah. hang that off your little axe loop if you wanted to on on, on a belt if that's the way you wanted to carry it. But um. It is, it is nice, and as Dave was saying, once you get around on this collar, you feel like it's a little, little yeah, yeah. bushcraft knife, like you just want to do some feather sticking or some curling yep. with the with, Which I have done a bit of, it's, and, um, and it's kind of good with that length handle as well. It's, um, it kind of counterbalances, yeah. so the weight feels yeah, like it doesn't nothing. feel it doesn't feel really top heavy at all when you hold it like this. No. This does not feel unbalanced at all, which if you grab any other cheaper, um, hatchet or tomahawk yeah. or anything, you, you really do feel unbalanced when yeah, you're holding that right. big head. Um, I'm guessing the narrow and just the weight of it, it it's a really, really nice little axe. Um, I definitely would. I, I'm not a massive axe fan. Um, not that I'm not a fan of them, I don't own anywhere near as many axes as Dave does. Um, I've got one or two at home that just they, they usually sit there and I take out a machete or a big chopper or, or a folding saw or something. But this is changing my mind. I haven't used it yet. I'm very keen to use it, but I do like the look of it. I think it's a beautiful looking axe. It's one of the nicest yeah. looking axes I've seen. Um, and also, yeah, it, it feels really nice. Even there, that feels just nice. Yeah, yeah. It, you can put any, you can hold it here, here, up here, and it doesn't matter where you're holding it on that. It really doesn't feel awkward or cumbersome at all. It's a, it's, it's a really nice, you think even like that, or turning it around the other way and using the hammerhead, it's yep. um it, it feels really nice every way so let's get some chopping done let's do it keen for it all right so we're, we're going to get into the bit of chopping here now the idea of this axe is this isn't for felling trees well it's it is for felling trees but i'm talking you know it's not for felling huge trees it's something you probably still could do but you know yeah. you could do it with a knife as well you could do it with it, Kane's little flipper it'll just take you a couple of weeks yeah what this is for is you know this kind of size pieces felling trees this kind of size so shelter building um yeah camp tasks camp around, tasks like basically fire prep. which is the majority of what we're going to use knives yeah. and axes for we're not often down felling trees we don't work as loggers or no. so even though i have that gear it very rarely gets used. Yep. Things like this do. All right, so what I'm gonna do before we get into this chopping is just show you how sharp this is. Now, we don't have a lot of paper and stuff on us, so, you know, a bit of cardboard here, but again, it's not the best. But the edge on this thing is ridiculous. You know, for axes to cut through like that. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna you know, cross cut this piece. Oh, Try not to take off Kane's fingers there. Don't get me confused with the tree, Dave. <laughs> Where are I can't oh, even yeah, see your arms. I'm just hiding, no one can see me at all. <laughs> Probably move a little bit. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna start off one-handed. Get in that bit there, so yeah. yep. So we've got super dense wood, but every video we do does. You get that, Kane? Yep, got one. <clears throat> now the good thing with this is, I've got to tighten that. 
just realised, but um, you can get two hands into this. It's just big enough for that. Definitely taking chunks out, isn't it? This is some very, very seasoned dry wood here too. I don't know if you can, you can probably hear how dry that, how hard and dry that is. Yeah, it's very solid. Real nice wood, I don't know what it is actually, but. Can we turn it over? Yeah, thick that is, and yeah, so you can see um, just the compression of the grain as it's cutting through. It's perfect. Just shows how good and sharp this axe is. Yeah, Look. that's like machine cut there, isn't it? It yeah. looks like it's machine cut when you. Can we get right <coughs> close in on this one? Yeah, right. I'll adjust that focus as you. You can see that there. It's just, um, it is so nice the way that cut. I'll turn it sideways without knocking the other camera over. See if you can go a little bit further. There you go. So you can see through here. Now, this is what a good axe will do. Let's make sure that is focused. Yep. Let me get this way. So, a nice, good, sharp axe will come through and really compress that grain. That's what you want. It's just giving you a nice clean cut. Yeah, it, it does, it looks machine. It does, doesn't it? <clears throat> and while we're here, I'll show you um, just how thin these cheeks are, which I think is absolutely perfect. And that's the that's what you're paying for in this this style of axe and this price of an axe you can have those real thin cheeks which is going to chop really well but the steel's good enough for it to hold up all right so we'll pass you on the cane it um it definitely looks like one you could really use. I was noticing when Dave was cutting that other end there that it, it looks like a really good one for notching or stuff. As we're talking about like shelter yeah. building and things like you'd be able to take out that little notch with this to be able to put another one on top of it or to yeah, lash them together, right. things like that. It, Which it, is really what they're built it, for. It does really, really look um, good that way. So we'll get a nice spot there so we're sturdy. There's a bit of a knot there. We'll see how we go through that as well. I'm just going to try and take out that little notch there. Yeah, it's not a heavy axe, is it? No, but it's, it's just heavy enough. It's not a, yeah, it's definitely got that bite to it and got enough, enough weight there that we can take those chunks out. Like they're throwing massive chunks out. Stop there and we'll show, you know, that's pretty close to maybe neaten that off a bit, but that's pretty close to a, um, it's a cabin notch. But yeah, even when you're moving up like this, you know, it, it's you've still got that. It's 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 sharp enough, you know, that you can still. It's almost like a chisel, you know, cutting it through there. And that's choked right up on that. But yeah, and that collar just needs. Yeah, it's just like a chisel, isn't it? It's. It's the collar really just needs tightening. Um, I put my put the collars on wet, so when they stretch back, they they tighten up. But I've actually laced it with uh, like suede cord. It would have stretched a bit, so it'll need need that bit of tightening. Let's see over here. I'll just get that focus again. <clears throat> yeah. It's just, I wasn't trying to make it neat or anything, but very easy. Not a lot of energy used just to take out that little notch there, you know, in some really, really hard timber. It's the same, like, you know, Kane, as we said, doesn't use an axe a lot. So yeah. he's fairly...
confident with knives and that kind of thing, so it, it would be still similar. Yeah. But, you know, just quite easy to use. Yeah, definitely. It is, it, it's a nice feeling axe to use, you know? Look at that. Try two in. Oh, yeah. Feel that bite in there with two hands, can't you? And see, so it's just big enough for the two hand hold, eh? Yeah, even I'm gonna try lefty. I'm not a lefty, but I just wanna try and get Dave back a bit with those chunks. <laughs> yeah, definitely you can feel the power now when you're coming in with the two hands, how much quicker you can go through that. I might go to the Easter show next year. <laughs> yes, got him. Did, right in the right in the eyeballs. There you go. Safety first always, eh? No dramas at all. It's um yeah, just those the smoothness of those cuts. I don't know if Dave wants to focus that up if we can get that. But you can just see how flat they are. Where you do get those one big slide through there. It's um, it's some hard, heavy timber too, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, great work, and that's right through that knot. As we said, it was a knot just there that's where we went through. So. I'm impressed with it. Out of all the axes, which isn't many, I've um used, or um, the many that Dave has that I've seen. This is definitely, when he pulled this out, I think it was the last axe out of about um, five or six you had in the car today to show. This, as soon as he pulled this out, I went, oh, I like that. This was the first one, put it that way, I asked, how much is that one? Yeah, one yeah, I, yeah. I wanted to look at getting one of these. I actually like the look of it, um, and I like the feel of it. It, um, it is good. You know, here, look at that. Yeah, sure. You know, with, with... And that's out the box too, that's... As we talked about choking up on this, you know, you can still push through there. Yeah, no dramas at all. Try and try and get a real controlled little small one there, yeah. So, you know, yeah, if you, we're not talking about one tool to do everything here with this knife, but it's still. Or axe. Uh, exactly. <laughs> or axe. Yeah, it's not the one tool <laughs> knife, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, we can still, you know, get some curls in there, get some feathers, and um, yeah, I don't think you'd have a problem uh, lighting those things up. No worries. Nice axe. I I'm I'm very impressed with it. It's it's very like um, agile. Like it, yeah, yeah. It's anywhere as I was saying earlier. Anywhere you grab that up that handle, it just feels comfortable and balanced, which is amazing. Normally, if you're holding something up here, it feels really cumbersome down the end feels real heavy at the far end there, but it, even that holding right up, choking right up on the bottom there, doesn't feel over heavy and too much strain on your hand just to even hold it out there like that, but um, yeah. But as like knives, it, it still has has its designated tasks, like, you know, it, yep. it does feel agile and it doesn't feel too light, so if you did want to chop down something huge, it's gonna feel like you're chopping it down with a toothpick, but that's... Oh. Every, you know, you're using a chopper over a um, little bushcraft knife, it's going to be totally different. It's the same as this. One thing that as soon as we got out <laughs> here and we're just talking and setting up cameras and things, we're playing around with them. Um, I do most of the playing around because he knows how to set the cameras up. By the way, <laughs> I'm usually the one playing around looking for things and poking around and chopping things down. One thing I noticed that when we go out, we don't usually have is a hammer. And a few times we'll go, oh, if I had this, it would be really handy now, whether you're putting pegs in or any of those things. There you go. You've got it there. Yeah, it's, right. um, yeah, I know you don't always need a hammer, but definitely to have that there would be awesome just to be able to have that for different things we need to do. And sometimes uh, we don't bring seats with us or anything when we go out. We usually make a seat with whatever we found around, but I can see that job being a lot easier yeah. with, with, with an axle when you can take <clears throat> notches out and... You know, lash them together with paracord or something like that, or some straps. That um, I think it's the perfect size pack axe. Yeah. And that, that's what they're designed for, this model. There's a bigger model. I think it's the same head on a, a longer handle. So that's up to my up to my elbow there. So it's not a massive 
Ah, yeah, yeah. By any means. But you know, perfect for the about, size of a backpack or about something. About a, a backpack. Yeah. Height, you know. The, you know, um, I was talking to Dave when we we're driving up here, and we had a while to drive to get out here, and saying that we we're talking about axes and he's, how much he likes axes, and he's bought a lot of new axes. And I hadn't seen this one yet in the back of his car. I knew he'd bought it to me. He sent me a photo a while ago, but to actually see it and feel it looks a lot different than a photo. I was talking about all those tactical axes. Now, I really like those tactical axes. They're, they're about the same size. They look good. They look light that you could take them out. But I said, practically, they don't look like they'd be very good out in the bush. Um, most of them have got that little spear point on the end. Great if you're into um, smashing people's heads in with an axe. That's not really... Um, what we're out to no, do. What we do out here. We often. like to use these as tools, and, and if they have a good. But this, the big spear, I can see why they call them battle axes or tactical axes or whatever. How often they actually get used for that, I don't know. <clears throat> but out here, even though they look great and they look nice on a pack, they just don't look like they'd be practical. Um, you might as well take a big chopper or something out with you. But this is something I would carry out here. Yeah. I would definitely have no hesitations because it's not that big. As I said, it'd sit on the size of the side of the backpack. Um, Dave's got a couple of different belt rigs and different loops he's making with his sheath business and he has one that has the the axe loop on there and it is something you could just stick in there while you're yeah, doing yeah. stuff with the sheath pull it back out do whatever you're doing and put it back in you know um, which is more something you'd normally do with just a hatchet yep but it, it's it's just it's that it, little bit be, bigger isn't it it'd be a little bit cumbersome but not not a whole lot it would be it still sit above you because it's not so heavy yeah exactly because it's not so heavy it would be something that if you were literally building that shelter you'd use it do, 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 do whatever you're doing drop it in there pick something else up pull it back out one-handed and if you need to hammer it in or something you can do that with it you know um i like it i really like that that's a it's a cool little thing i might have to take it with me <laughs> all right so um the other thing i use an axe for a lot would be and I use knives a lot for this as well, so it isn't just an axe task, but I found it a whole lot easier with axes is making either, you know, stakes or pegs or whatever, but just taking that, that kind of front edge. Wow, that is sharp, Dave. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> and then, obviously cutting out some notches. Again, you can choke right up on this and do your notch work. Yeah, it, 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 it doesn't feel like an axe, does it? No. It's... It, really, it, it really doesn't when you're using it like that. It doesn't have that big... Yeah, I'd love everyone. It's one of those things. That's the hardest things I think with videos, and and even um, we get that watching videos, and you go, oh, and you uh, expect something to feel really nice. That's good, straight between the cameras. You, you, I you, aimed that. You see something and you think, geez, that'd feel nice, and you get it in your hand and it doesn't, and it's disappointing. This is one of those. I've seen a photo of it from Dave. Uh, sent me links to it before he bought it, and he sent me photos of it when he did buy it. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, cool, nice axe. Another axe knife. Yeah, nice, mate. But, um, yeah, when it's actually using it and feeling it, I'm, I'm very, very impressed with it. So um, it's definitely opened my eyes as far as something that, one of those things that you don't know you need until you do it, and then all of a sudden, as of today, it feels like, yep, yeah, so sharp. Uh, and power on that hammer <laughs> to knock it through that stump. But now it's one of those ones to, once I've felt it, I've used it, you can see with how much ease you do use it for those tasks, it's something that you go, well, actually I could see that is practical and it is something I would use. Yeah. Um, I'd always say, oh, oh well, why would you use an ax for, for doing, you know, um, what we would baton with and, and things like that. But with this one, I've always felt the axes I've had were cheaper, so I'm guessing that the balance isn't right. And I've always felt like it's just gonna be something I'm gonna end up cutting myself with because yeah, yeah. it didn't feel right. This doesn't have that feel to it anywhere I, i've said it many times but anywhere you hold this it feels like you've got control over it perfect and obviously two hands um dave's not massive on the lanyards compared to me but you know you put a big lanyard on that and you can really give it a, yeah, a good right. old swing in there and, and you'll be fine but um thumbs up from me um i really like it i, I would definitely look at getting one of them 
Yep. What do they cost, Dave, roughly? Uh, so we got it from uh, Knife Shop Australia. Mark, thank you. So Mark up there, Mark. he uh, always looks after us, but um, he doesn't have a lot of room to move you, on these. You bought this one. I bought it. Wasn't, it wasn't, Mark yet. didn't give it, we'll, we'll say that straight away. This is a purchase Dave made from Mark. Yep. Um, yeah, Mark's great He's up there. He's a good guy. I send yep. a lot of people up to him. Um, actually, a lot of the sheaths I've been building, people have seen reviews we've done on some of the knives and just said, um, I want the knife. And the sh and a sheath built for it, so I'll contact Mark and you know he supplies through the person and it all works out. But um, yeah, one eighty nine. Yep. Uh, for that, which is it's a knife price. You know what I yeah, mean? You'd right. buy a decent knife for that, a big chopper knife, or you could buy one of these for <clears throat> for people like me that have 30, 40, 50 knives going around different places. Get something different one time. Yeah, you know, that's one right. one eighty for that. When the craftsmanship, I love it that it has an unfinished look to it. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is one well, of the it's things all that really so. it, it really stood out for me, and it, it makes it, it it's a sexy axe. <laughs> it is a very sexy. Act. It's got that, as you say, that hand hammered finish there, and it, it just beautiful, beautiful. Check out the um, if you type in Grand Falls Brooks. Um, I'm showing there where it's burnt in. They there is a video from. Uh, on YouTube from the makers and it kind of just shows you I think it's actually this model that they're making it just shows you how it's all put together and it's really interesting yeah yeah I love it I do love it but um all right so all right. final thoughts you're you're pretty happy no yep. no downsides no um no really I can't um if it doesn't come with that collar which you're saying it doesn't yeah it'd be something I want because I think it makes it look better if nothing yeah, else it right. does feel good there but it gives it, because of the hand hammered has that old feeling to it and that rustic look to it, that definitely adds to the aesthetics of this um, axe. I was about to say knife again, that's how much I use them. It definitely does add to it. I, I definitely feel it looks a lot better. Um, and it, it, and it's one of those things, if you can, if you do hit something or miss hit something and you hit that and that gets damaged, big deal. You that's can just right. make another one and, and take it on and off, put another one on there. But yes, if it didn't, I'd, that's my only downside that they don't come with that. So yeah. Dave's gonna have to make me one when that's I get right. one of these axes. Yeah, well, <clears throat> axe, axe for me, it's spot on. Absolutely, yep. you know, it's it's what I was after anyway. It's exactly what I wanted. It was funny though when I ordered it, uh, when it came, you have in your mind how it's gonna feel, how it's gonna perform, and that kind of thing. And it was a slight bit lighter and thinner. It's 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 what I uh, I wanted it to be really thin so it, I could do that really fine task. But I was like, oh, that's actually that's really small. But I was comparing to other axes. But yeah, it's it's perfect size. Yeah. You know, it's yep. just not too not too heavy to carry. Um, my only downside would be that the sheath isn't finished properly. Yeah. But for a sheath builder, that's uh, they're not an issue at all. <laughs> not an issue. I can I can do that. But it's an understandable thing where I, I'm a bit of a stickler for quality. Um, so, you know, I was kind of looking at the edges, oh, they're not, you know, and it took me probably 20 minutes to to refinish it properly, but that's my only kind of downside. The ax is brilliant, perfect size. The um, one thing we'll make sure, because it fit, oh, I've been wearing gloves this time, but it actually feels really good without gloves it as well. Does, yeah. So gloves or no gloves, that always makes a difference sometimes. It, it, it doesn't. Um, feel any worse in your hand without gloves it doesn't feel slippy at all like it's going to come out there they're an unfinished handle yep. as well yeah um, yep. now which is what you want because a <clears throat> a lacquered handle will slip out yeah it, yeah. it, it feels really nice and really comfortable make sure Dave just a note for Dave, make sure you put up some close up photos of this so people can see that. Yep. Um, the head and the and how cool that it really does look. Um, you might not be into that and think it looks like um, rubbish, but oh, I love that look. I think it looks great. That hand hammered that's right. look, it, it, it really does look awesome. All right, awesome. guys, so that's a um, big thumbs up yep. from us. So uh, thanks again for watching. Black Anchor Outdoors and um, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe yep. and jump on and give us some uh, some feedback, some messages. We're really loving the messages at the yep. moment. So we'll, Keep up we'll with the comments. Speak to you there. Yep. All right. Thanks, guys. See thanks you later. Lot. See you next time. Bye.